Hey guys, Jacob here from Painted for Combat, and I'm not at the painting desk where I'd normally be. Today we're going to be taking a look online at some minis. In my recent FDM printing guide, I covered some of my favourite sculptors for 3D printable miniatures. And in that video, I mentioned some sculptors that create minis that don't need supports when printing, and asked if you guys would be interested in seeing a few more of these sculptors. So today, here we are. We're going to be taking a look at a few different sculptors that create minis that don't require supports. And the amazing thing about these is they can easily be printed on either FDM printers or resin, depending on what you have available. So let's jump on over and see what we can find. We're going to be starting with a sculptor that I did mention in my FDM video, but I think it's worth bringing them up again here and having a proper look at their catalogue. Namely, we're looking at Arbiture Minis. Now, Arbiture Minis are a bit special. They have both pre-supported and supportless versions of all of their models. From my understanding, they run Kickstarters where they create a line of miniatures that they do alternative poses for for each model, allowing for a pre-supported option for resin printing and a supportless option for either resin or FDM. These look like a great example. So these are their Hill Trolls, which are a clear recent release at the top of their My Mini Factory page, and they have a supportless and a pre-supported option here. If we go ahead and click on their pre-supported option, you can see here, these models do have features that would require supports, hence why they are pre-supported. And I assume that these are designed with resin printing in mind. And these sculpts are gorgeous. I love the stylized feel, the angular designs. It feels sculpted. These have character, which is where I find a lot of miniature sculptors actually fall short. A lot of these Patreons that are trying to push out monthly models they lose a lot of character and style in their minis, for favouring large quantities of output. Here we can see some clear creative vision. These trolls, for example, are awesome. And these are part of a Patreon release, but it's a focused one. Whereas if we now jump over to the supportless option, we can see the same sculpts in different poses, and these won't require supports. As you can see here, all of the angles and overhangs will allow for support-free printing. They're the same models, the same awesome sculpts, they've just been posed in a way that allows for supportless printing. And that's amazing. To be able to get this model in either option for FDM or resin printing is just such a blessing. If you want the more dynamic pose and something that might potentially be a little bit more interesting to paint and put on the table, and you have a resin printer, or the ability to support these in FDM, that's great. Use the pre-supported options. or if you just want a mini that's going to be easy to print and don't want to worry about supports, it's amazing to have these supportless options here. And this goes for most of their range. Arbiture Minis have recently done a vampire based Kickstarter, and you can see here that at the bottom there are options for their pre-supported or supportless versions. Their pre-supported options all have incredible detail and a lot of overhangs that would require supports. We can see here that there are details in mid-air as most miniatures would have. These are the things that we normally support in our slices. So if we instead jump over to the supportless version of the same Kickstarter, you can see that the sculpts have been edited, the poses changed to allow for supportless printing. These are the same awesome characters, but they're in poses that allow for printers to print them without supports. Uh, we can see the same thing happening down here with their Dueling Knights campaign. I have a few of these, these are great. This is a supportless model and even the pose is still quite interesting. My biggest issue with support free models is that a lot of sculptors will sacrifice pose for printability. And that's fine, it is kind of necessary, but if you can find a nice middle ground like Arbiture Minis does very often here, he has very dynamic poses in his pre-supported models, but as soon as we jump over to his supportless, they still look really good. For example, this female knight. Her pre-supported option looks great. She has a nice strong pose, but, but there are obviously parts here that need supporting. If we jump over to the support free version, the supportless model, if you will, it still looks great. This is an action pose, befitting of like a hero model. Like she could easily be hitting a knight's cavalry or the town's guard, and you wouldn't really think much difference between these poses. But one of them prints supportless can be printed in FDM without the use of support material. Continuing down, we have more skeletons and more undead. We have supportless orcs. Some of these look like they print in multiple pieces and are glued together. This one here, for example. I assume that these arms would be printed separately and glued on, as this is a supportless model, but as we can see here, there are overhangs. And this is a great alternative if people want to create dynamic poses. 
clerics, the clergy, we have barbarians, we have more dwarves, we have what look like classes, we have halflings and gnomes with specific class features about their models. Necromancers, monks, sorcerers, wizards, there's a bunch of really cool sculpts here. So overall, Arbit Chiminis has a great catalogue of some really characterful sculpts. So if you're looking for some support free models, I would absolutely check him first. If he has what you want, chances are it's going to be one of the best looking support free models that you can find. And he does have monthly releases on My Mini Factory Tribes. As of recording this, he's creating kobolds by the month. And they aren't huge batches of minis that lose character because he's trying to push out too many at once takes the time to figure out what his minis should look like, how to best interpret these models into his designs and make some awesome support free characterful sculpts. So I would absolutely recommend checking him out, whether you FDM or resin print, whether you want supportless or support free models, all of the options are there. Moving along is another of my personal favorites, Evan Carruthers, also known as EC3D. EC3D runs campaigns on my mini factory every so often for new sets of support free minis. They have an everyday folk series that came out a while ago and recently just ran an everyday heroes. They have an amazing range of everyday folks, which is something that I absolutely miss from a lot of D&D miniature sets. It's really hard to find commoners or nobles or just people to bulk out a city setting or a town. These are a great option, they're all entirely support free when you're looking at the everyday folk models and they look amazing. They print really well and they've got some nice designs that are fun to paint. They also have a bunch of monsters, from giants to yetis to mammoths to a kraken for goodness sake. This is awesome stuff. Their frost giants look great, they have some amazing golems, they've got elementals in the range. A few of their models are printed in multiple pieces and glued together, but not many. Of the EC3D models I've printed, I think I've had two that are multiple piece. They have some awesome sculpts here. You can see some fiends from succubus to incubus to flame skulls jumping over. They have some awesome werewolf models as well as some noble folk. And again, I think these are my favorite from Evan Carruthers. These just normal common, or not common in this case, but these normal people that you can put to fill out a town setting. I know that personally, every so often I will have an encounter that's in a village or in a city, and it doesn't make sense to just say that everyone runs away at the start of combat. It's nice to have a few commoners on the battle map that let your players have to protect them, for example. And it's nice to just have models like this around as well, for when players inevitably start combat somewhere you would never expect them to. Next up is a classic in the support free miniatures world. We'll be looking at Bright Minis. B-R-I-T-E. Bright minis are sculpted in an older looking style to kind of match those 80s and 90s minis of old early Warhammer and fantasy models. They have the same look as a lot of older metal minis, but they're all completely support free and ready for 3D printing. And they have a huge catalog. Looking through their website, you can clearly see where each mini can be downloaded. And a lot of their minis are available for free on Thingiverse, as well as a few that are on my mini factory. But as you can see here, a lot of these are available through their Patreon. In fact, when I was last a patron of Bright Minis, when you become a patron, you get access to their entire catalog of models, past and present. So there's no need to worry about having to purchase old sets. You just get access to their entire selection of models. And there is a lot to choose from here. They have a bunch of characters and humanoid creatures, but also have a small selection of monsters in here as well. Purple worms and owl bears. They even have a few interesting little terrain pieces in here that also print entirely support free. So I'll leave links to Bright Mini's website as well as their Patreon down below, so feel free to go and check that out to get access to their entire catalogue. Now if you're looking for larger models, be it big bads or giant creatures, monstrosities, I can absolutely recommend Rocket Pig Games. They have a great selection of support free models, a lot of which are direct sculpts of D&D creatures. You just have to know what you're looking for. For example, if you were looking for a Balgura for D&D, they have that, they're just called the Gorilla Fiend. If you're looking for a specific model from Rocket Pig Games, my best recommendation is simply googling the D&D creature followed by Rocket Pig Games, and just going through Google Images. Half the time their sculpt of that creature will come up with the name listed underneath. If I'm looking for a D&D Vrock, for example, the demonic vulture-like creatures, I can search D&D Vrock Rocket Pig Games, and go to Images. And I'm starting here because I know that they have one. 
here we go, here's an image, the Vulture Fiend. So if I now come back to their page, chances are if I search for Vulture, we're going to find our Vrop. And there we have it, our Vulture Fiend from Rocket Pig Games. A completely support free model that again has a pretty nice sculpt. And Rocket Pig Games have a lot of your monstrosities, your fiends, your clockwork horrors. They don't have much in the way of support free characters, but they do have a lot of amazing monsters. You just want to make sure when you're looking through that you do find one that does say that it is support free. For example, a creature like this could be an awesome addition to a campaign. You just want to make sure that in the description here they do mention it's support free, as I do know that they have a few models that aren't. But overall, most of their stuff just prints in multiple parts and glues together pretty easily, and I haven't really run into any issues printing their split models. And you can find Rocket Pig Games on my mini factory. They have a Patreon for their Darkheim series, and they also run Kickstarters every so often alongside that. Jumping over now to Print and Paint Miniatures, another support free creator. A very different style to the others, much smoother sculpts that look very organic, and sometimes have softer details. They have some really great characters and some really exaggerated models that I really like the look of. Something like this mutant goblin for example would look really cool on the tabletop. Something like this soul reaper could make for a really cool character mini depending on if your players had something like this. Or even as a big bad, a character like this would look really nice. The support free community seem to be really good at doing trolls and giants so it's nice to see that Leonardo has some good ones in here as well. Next up is Vevictus. Now a lot of his more recent stuff is pre-supported or requires supports to print. They do have a lot of support free terrain that they're still releasing, but a lot of their older models are support free printing. As we can see here jumping through into some characters, they have some awesome character options that are support free. So Vevictus is a good place to go if you're looking for a character model, specifically for players. Something like a tiefling bard here. We have a diviner or another bard of tabaxi descent, and an orc druid. They have some really nice sculpts here that can be really good for player character options. Vevictus also has a Patreon, but I'm not sure how much of their content is supportless versus pre-supported. But they're a good catalogue to browse if you haven't found what you're looking for from some of the other supportless creators. And that more or less brings us to the end of my list of support free creators that I really love. And these are just the ones that I've found. If there's anyone else that you guys think that I have missed, leave them in the comments down below and I will update the video description with any additional supportless model creators that I haven't covered in this video. I think support free models are a great starting point for miniature printing, whether you're dialing in and calibrating your resin printer or if you're checking your FDM settings for layer lines, these are a great place to start and luckily we have some amazing supportless sculptors in the community creating models like this that print easily without supports and still look amazing to put on the table, they're easy to print and they're fun to paint. Whether you're just getting into printing or want an easy model to print to put on the table in the next couple of days, these are some great options. Please consider liking the video if you found it useful and subscribe to see some of my mini printing and painting in the future. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a good one.